I'm Natalia. I was head makeup artist this year on The X Factor and also you'll see me on This Morning. Today's tip is eyebrows. As you can see, I've actually done one eyebrow because one of my little Twitter fans was asking me if I could do a quick blog and just show you guys at home how to do eyebrows. And as you can see, this one is completely clean and hasn't got anything on where I've done this one. But um, this one is plucked to death and... Oh my god, I don't know what I was doing, but that's another story. So, today I'm going to be showing you how to do it. So what you need is... We can use anything really. You can use Rimmel, um, Dark Brown, this one, which is specially just for your eyebrows with a little brush on the end. Or what I'm going to use is basically Spiked by MAC. It's really nice and you don't have to sharpen it because I hate a sharpener. It drives me nuts. And then also I'm going to be using Strut by MAC. And finally I'm going to use my favourite Rimmel Flash Eyeliner. Now when you're doing eyebrows, with me, I always think it's never just one colour. Hence why I'm using three colours. So it has more of a natural effect. Like people with their hair and stuff have natural highlight tones in their um, hair. So, what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to take the strut... And as you can see, I'm just ever so slightly, if you can see my natural eyebrow there and how I've done this one, a nice, because thick eyebrows are right, like really good right now on the catwalk. So I'm just ever so slightly with my strut going to start filling in the gaps. It's always really nice to start here and go up and have that arch because... Everybody, can you see how that arch goes up and then comes down? People, and if you go back, you can see it just brings the eye beautifully. So that's what I'm going to do. As you can see, I'm literally giving it a little tinge of this strut here and there, filling it in. So that's one side done. And then I'm going to take my spike and I'm going to go over it like so. Still keeping the shape. And don't worry if you can see, the, you can actually see it's all crayon and stuff. Because that doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, as long as you have a big, bushy, thick eyebrow like mine, then you're fine. And don't worry about making mistakes, because I do it all the blooming time. So just, as you can see, go around, like put a nice little arch. Your arch, as you can see, here to here, should be there. That's where your arch should be. So if you get your pencil, put it there, and then you go like that, that's where your arch should be. See? So there to there shows you your arch is up there. So there you have it, and I'm filling it in with a bit of spike. So as you can see, my silly face is now taking shape with my little Lego haircut and then my flash liner. Now the reason I'm using this flash liner is firstly because it's got a fine nib and I can use very fine like almost brush stroke like my natural hair on the top of these colour brown. So then I'm just going little strokes over what I've done to give that effect as you can see, silly phone, um, doing that, as you can see, like that, all the way, filling in nicely, and also compare, because the thing is, when you compare, then you can tell how terrible you've done, so as you can see, I've done alright actually, and then keep going over the top, like so, and if you find it's a little bit harsh, you can get a little brush, get a toothbrush even, it doesn't even matter, and then just give it a nice little comb through, and that will just loosen up all the pencil nibs so there'll be no harsh lines, and then it'll have a more softer effect, more of a blended kind of softer effect for your Brooke Shields kind of eyebrows. As you can see, I've messed that up there with a little hole. So I'm going to get this and then I'm literally just filling in 
like so. So as you can see, hello, I have got my big eyebrows and I am now ready to go. I hope that helped you. Any comments or anything you want to know, let me know and pop it in the box below. Bye!